it's Maria again at nakarating lang and today I'm gonna teach you about how to manage your own diabetes okay tayo na <laughs> do you want to know So today I will be discussing how you can manage your own diabetes. Let's get started. But just to give some background about myself, I am a registered nurse and a clinical educator as well. Okay, let's proceed. First, let's talk about the key players in diabetes. Because if you understand what's going on normally in the body, you're going to understand why the diabetic person is having all these issues. So the big key players in diabetes are glucose, insulin, glucagon, and liver. And all these work together to help your body use glucose. Because the big issue with diabetes is an issue with insulin. And I am here to say you will see why that's an issue. Okay, so let's talk about glucose. Glucose is sugar and your body loves sugar because your body needs it to survive and what sugar does is it enters into the cell or glucose enters into the cells and fuels those cells so they can work. But the catch is that glucose cannot enter into your cell without the help of insulin. So in order you eat all the sugar, you take it in and enters your bloodstream. But for the glucose to actually go into your body to use, it has to have the help of insulin, of course. But if you don't have any insulin at all, then you're not going to have the ability to use the glucose. And the glucose is just going to hang out in your bloodstream and cause high blood sugars which wrecks have it on havoc on the body now glucose is mainly stored in the liver in the form of glycogen which will go over in depth here in, in a sec okay okay insulin what is insulin Insulin is a hormone and it plays a huge role in helping us bring those blood sugar levels down Because like I said it regulates the amount of glucose in your body Insulin is secreted by your pancreas by the beta cells of the pancreas and in the islet of Langerhans cells so if this area of the body cells the body beta cells and pancreas get damaged then you are in trouble you're not going to have or you're not going to have any insulin production now let's talk about glucagon what is glucagon opposite of insulin insulin help us bring our sugars down but glucagon help us increase our blood sugar so it helps with low blood sugar levels okay now let's start to talk about diabetes diabetes is a serious complex condition that can affect the entire body diabetes requires daily self-care and if complications develop diabetes can have a significant impact on the quality of life and can reduce life expectancy while there is currently no cure for diabetes, you can still have an enjoyable life by learning about the condition and effecting, effectively managing your diabetes well. So, there are different types of diabetes. All types are complicated and significant. The three main types of diabetes are type 1, type 2, and gestational. But we're going to focus only on the type 1 and type 2. Okay, so diabetes can be managed well actually, but the potential complications are the same for type 1 and type 2 diabetes, including heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, limb amputation, depression, anxiety, and blindness. Symptoms 
In type 1 diabetes, symptoms are often sudden and can be life-threatening. Therefore, it is usually diagnosed quite quickly. In type 2 diabetes, many people have no symptoms at all. While other signs can go unnoticed being seen as part of getting older. Therefore, by the, by the time symptoms are noticed, complication of diabetes may already be present. Common symptoms include being more thirsty than usual, passing more urine, feeling tired and lethargic, always feeling hungry, having cuts that heal slowly, itching, skin infections, blurred vision, unexplained weight loss in type 1, gradually putting on weight in type 2, mood swing, headaches, feeling dizzy, and even leg cramps. Managing type 1 diabetes, in type 1 diabetes, the pancreas produces little or no insulin, which is vital for converting glucose into energy. So people with type 1 diabetes need to do the job of the pancreas and replace the insulin via insulin injections prescribed and must be closely monitored by the GP. So the insulin acts to reduce the level of glucose in the blood. In type 1 diabetes or type 1 diabetes is a life-threatening condition that needs to be closely managed with daily care. So, the aim of diabetes management is to keep blood glucose levels as close to the target range as possible between 4 to 6 millimole fasting. Okay? So, how about managing type 2, type 2 diabetes? In type 2 diabetes, your pancreas is still working but not as effect effective as it needs to. This means your body is building insulin resistance and is unable to eff effectively convert glucose into energy, leaving too much glucose in the blood. Type 2 diabetes can be sometimes or sometimes initially be managed through lifestyle modification, including healthy diet regular exercise, and monitoring your blood glucose levels. Eating well helps manage your blood glucose levels and your body weight. Exercising helps the insulin work more effectively, lowers your blood pressure, and reduces the risk of heart disease. Regular blood glucose monitoring tests, whether the treatment is being followed, is helping to manage blood glucose levels or whether you need to adjust your treatment so again as what i've said the aim of diabetes management is to keep blood glucose level as close to the target range between 4 to 6 millimole uh, fasting okay now let us discuss what is hypoglycemia Hypoglycemia, sometimes called a hypo or low, is a condition that occurs when a person's blood glucose level has dropped too low or below 4 millimole per liter. So it is important to treat a hypo quickly to stop the VGL from falling even lower and the person becoming seriously unwell. Hypoglycemia can make it hard to concentrate and carry out everyday activities. Some activities such as driving and operating uh, machinery are, um, are also not safe if VGLs are less than 5. So hypoglycemia is much more common in people who take insulin or certain others glucose lowering tablets. However, it can also occur in people with diabetes and who are not using insulin. What are the causes of hypoglycemia? Hypoglycemia can be caused by one or a number of events such as too much insulin or other glucose-lowering diabetes tablets, delaying or missing a meal, um, not eating enough carbohydrate, unplanned physical activity, more, uh, more strenuous exercise than usual, Drinking alcohol, the risk of hypoglycemia increases the more alcohol you drink. So hypoglycemia may be delayed for 12 hours or more after exercise. Symptoms of hypoglycemia vary from person to person. Early signs and symptoms may include you could, you could have shaking, trembling or weakness, sweating, paleness, hunger, lightheadedness, 
headache, dizziness, pins and needles around the mouth, and mood change. So if the VGL continues to drop, more serious signs and symptoms may occur. Uh, later signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia may include lack of concentration, behavior change, confusion, slurred speech, not able to treat own hypo, not able to drink or swallow, not able to follow instructions, loss of consciousness, and even you will be ended with fitting or seizures. So hypoglycemia can be classified as mild or severe. A mild hypo occurs when a person can treat their own hypo. A severe hypo occurs when a person needs help from someone else to treat their hypo. Treating hypoglycemia. So I do have some questions here that I will be or I, I will answer. So what should I do if I suspect I am having a hypo? Check your VGL. So if you can check your VGL, treat it as hypo just in case. Now, if your VGL is below 4 millimol per liter, step 1. You have to start on step 1. Have 15 grams of fast-acting carbohydrates such as um, 6 to 7 jelly beans or half can of regular soft drinks, not the diet one, or half glass of fruit juice like orange juice, or 3 teaspoons of sugar or honey, or glucose tablets that are equivalent to 15 grams of carbohydrates. Now, in step two, wait for 15 minutes, recheck your blood sugar or blood glucose levels to see if your VGL has risen above 4 millimol already. Now, if your VGL has risen above millimol, go to step three already. But if your VGL is still below 4 millimol per liter, repeat the step one okay okay so now let's discuss step three step three eat a snack or meal with a longer acting carbohydrates such as a slice of bread or a glass of milk a piece of fruit or two to three pieces of dried apricots figs or other dried fruit or one tub of natural low-fat yogurt or pasta or rice okay what happens if i don't treat hypoglycemia another question if not treated quickly the vgl can continue to drop which may result in the brain not getting enough glucose and this can cause unconsciousness or fitting then another question what to do if the person is unconscious drowsy or unable to swallow so if a person with diabetes is unconscious already drowsy or unable to swallow this is an emergency case already do not give them any food or drink by mouth treat them as follows place them on their side making sure their airway is clear give an injection of glucagon if available and you are trained to do so give it and then phone for an ambulance stating the person is unconscious and that the person has diabetes okay then wait with them until the ambulance arrives now let's discuss about what is hyperglycemia 